Hey, yo, what's the good? It's your boy, Super Kev. Welcome to another episode of the Super Kev Livecast, season four. We on YouTube, baby. And there was a delay because they talk about my Wi-Fi acting up. Yeah, all right. We out here. What's the word? I don't care if y'all hear me on the delay. Y'all can hear me. But um, per usual, I like to start off with shout out to the 78 subscribers and growing like y'all are motivating me to continue on with the quality content. I appreciate all the subscribers out there. And I'm going to continue to try to put out good quality, educational, entertainment purposes only content, all right, Um, remember the goal was 50, and we shattered that goal, we had 78, and however many we end the year with, we're going to double it, and that's going to be our goal for 2022, why do I remind y'all all all the time, that's because I'm trying to remind y'all to set quantifiable goals, all right, a goal without a plan is a wish, so if you know this is what I'm trying to get, put a number on it, and then chase that number, all right, whether it's a financial amount or, or or GPA, it doesn't matter, set the goal and then attack, and then if you fall short, you can reanalyze the situation to see why, instead of just brushing things off to the side, and one of the reasons why this show has become a to-do list show is to hold myself accountable as I'm over there talking that big $10 million game. All right. I know when I mention I'm going to get $10 million, there's a bunch of people who is like, yeah, all right. But that's probably because they they aren't dreamers and they don't quantify their goals. But that's not who I'm here to service. I'm here to service the people who do want an opportunity at financial independence. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to get that by sharing this information, not hoarding it. All right. Like I've been doing a lot of great things. And it's crazy when I even talk to my own family members and they're like, you do that. And I'm just like, God damn, I got to share it. You know what I'm saying? I can't just be keeping these secrets. So welcome to episode 39. And at the time of this recording, it is December 23rd. All right. So those of you who know about astrology in the Northeast know like it's it's the shortest, it's what is it? The shortest three days of the year is coming up. So it's probably going to be dark real soon real soon in the northeast now we're going to start to show off with more positive energy right because i'm just working on my energy so a good way to start off with love is to know yo what state is in the house y'all see me i'm repping boston right now all right now Boston will forever be my home. I don't know if I'm going to stay here much longer, though. But I'm always going to be 617 out here. What state are y'all showing love from? All right. Let's see, let's see what kind of people show love to Super Kev. Um, now, the local re- weather report. My show became the news. The local weather report. Y'all know I be out at, around midnight. So around midnight, it was cold, of course, right, because it's winter time. But it wasn't as freezing as it was the last two days. So take that for whatever the hell you want to take it with. What's good, my bro? You already know. I was thinking about you the other day. I was listening to that song. Um, From she left me, she said she can't sleep. Every time I hear that song, I think about you now, bro. All right. Today is income four out of seven day. Because remember, it's Thursday. So Thursday represents the fourth day if you start from Monday. That means when I talk to y'all on a Thursday, we got to talk about dividend income. My man said, um, got an important inquiry for Superman. Um, great bumps. I stay bumping at your fax song. It's hard, nigga. Um, but yeah, if you want to holler at me, it, it, you know, you can holler at me here. But if it's private, sl- slide me a DM and then I'll um, read it when I finish the live. But um, income four out of seven is dividend income that is when you ma- you have mastered income one i right, go watch my income one videos see what i'm talking about talk to me in the comments or call me out live if you want me to talk about it now fuck it we live you have mastered income two mastering income three means you have minimum of six months worth of savings in your account but if you're like me and you don't have that shit you know you have a plan to get it, all right? I don't mind 
jumping around if you understand what's happening while you're jumping around. And then when you get to income four, that means you have, think about it, you're financially literate. You don't waste too much money. You're making a lot of money. The government's coming for you. They're coming to tax you. So how do we avoid taxes legally? Tax deferred investments. And what are those? When you enter the stock market and don't put the money back in your account. Now, I'm not a certified public accountant. I'm just an engineer. I said an engineer, nigga. I am an audio engineer, but I'm really an entertainer when I'm on YouTube. And um, fuck it. I promote that too, nigga. Yo, if y'all niggas need mix and master an engineer, nigga, holla at your boy since I just distracted my own brain. But I'm just an entertainer. However, take this information back to your financial advisors to see the different types of tax deferments, right? Because if you cash out a stock in less than a year, then you're taxed against your taxable income. Hold it for longer than a year, you're in a, you know, a, more of a tax break. And then if you hold it for five years or more, you get the mean tax break. That means, based on your money and your goals, you got to have a tax deferred plan. All right. And just to keep it simple so we can move on, I definitely will day trade and not care about the taxes. All right. Like when I'm growing my account, I'm not worried about taxes. I feel like if you're trying to grow, you need to get to where you want to go and then worry about what happens when you get there. That's just my personal philosophy. As far as holding stocks longer than a year, I do have a portion of my portfolios because I run multiple accounts in which I'm like plotting on the success of a stock or crypto next year. Now, for my son, my son is probably the only one who I invest for with a five year window. All right. Now, I have some dividend yielding stocks in his account that I'm definitely just going to hold probably longer than five years. Like the only way I'll get rid of them is if they fall on their face. And that's, uh, that's not necessarily for tax purposes, but it's going to help. That's because I really run an account for my son. And, I, and I'm and i like, yo, um, I'll sell it. I'll, what is it? Pay $75 to transfer it when he's 18. My son's three. So we got some time to build his generational wealth. And by the way, those of you who just showed up, let us know what city or state you're representing. That's how we're going to show love on this show. And my man from Titletown says, yeah. What up, bro? You already know what it is. All love. All right. So I hope I, I hope I gave you enough information for income four to run with today. Um, but we got to keep it pushing. Also, it says check. Oh, let me put a check mark there since I spoke to y'all about it. Check um, income four out of seven documents and ideas. Now, I have a Google Doc that in which I write at the end of the month how much I ended the month with in the stock market so I can hold myself accountable. Um, and the only ideas related to income four is the curriculum that I'm working on, a short little 10 week seminar to teach people financial um, literacy. So I'm gonna just continue to write that part when I get off the live. Won't take me that long. I really love the stock market. I love um, math. Y'all know my freaking math track record. I don't need to go through it right now. So the fact that I get to you, you know, too much is given, much is expected. I was born with it, with the propensity to do mathematics without trying. So it's only right that I give that back, especially to the youth. Um, My man said I had to come show love. Come on, man. You basically a co-host at this point, man. As a matter of fact, you don't even need to say where you from. They know you from Titletown. Um, next, did I drink my water this morning? Yes, I did, but I I didn't find the lemons. So I think today, man, I think today I'm just, just drink some more water with no lemons. And then I think when I come back in the morning, I'm a I'm gonna stop by the store because I'm I'm you know what? I'll do it in the morning because I gotta go to the gym tomorrow. Y'all know we got it. Is, is tomorrow Christmas Eve? Yeah, we going to the gym tomorrow. I bet the gym is gonna be closed on Saturday, so we gonna show up tomorrow so that we um you know what I'm saying get right. I told you I'm trying to get a six pack by 40 and shit. And then the gym is next to the um, grocery store. We'll buy some lemons tomorrow. But that's why you just see the water symbol. For those of you who really pay attention to detail, if you don't see a lemon there, that means I didn't drink it with lemon that day because I don't got it. But we got the budget. So I could afford $5 worth of lemons, y'all. Um, make my bed. Yes, I did. Even though I 
violated by throwing them boxing businesses on top. It is what it is. I um yo, shout out one of my BFFs. She got me this nice little um Captain Marvel throw that honestly is it just be collecting dust from these boxes, but it protects my um comforter. So when I sleep, I don't feel like I was sleeping inside of a business or whatever. But those are the sacrifices we make now till we get to the top. And if there's one motherfucker who puts out to the universe, yo, I'm gonna get 10 million and it's gonna happen. I think it's the nigga who said he's going to get a scholarship and made it happen and then graduated with a diploma in mathematics. That nigga made that happen. And then I was a world-class math teacher before I got fired on some bullshit. So, nigga, if there's one nigga who could do it, it's me. So y'all can fuck with me. And then the reason why I post these shits every day is so y'all can see, like, yo, this is the work I put in. So when it, when we get there, and I say we, because I got niggas who's really following me getting this money with me, nigga. Like, shit, this is real money I'm talking, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I just don't be flashing it like that, because most of it's digital, nigga. Tax deferred, nigga. I can't even really touch that shit. But anyways, um, my man said, I like lemon and lime warm tea. Ooh, that shit sounds amazing. That just sounds like it tastes good. Yo, you know what? I think I want some tea this week. Yeah, that's what we gonna do. I don't got no lemons. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if my mom got some tea in the um whatever. Like fuck it. I'm just do something different. And and Haitian mothers always got tea, so she's getting something stolen, nigga. Um. Anyways, fold at 4 p.m. It's 2:18 at the time of this recording, so. Two hours, we're going to do Fold. What is Fold? A free Bitcoin mining app. And y'all see Bitcoins popping today. As a matter of fact, since I'm talking all that Bitcoin shit, let's see what happened to Bitcoin today. I, I glanced at the graph. I seen it was ripping. But niggas know I already got major positions in there. So, shit, rip. Went from like 46 bands to 50 bands already. So, nigga, sh- y'all nigga, shit. All I can say is, nigga, if you listening to me, we getting money. That's all I'm going to say. Um, next, Lolly, another Bitcoin mining app. There's no check mark there. but so that means I probably didn't do it. As soon as I get off the live, we're going to check it. In the comments below, as soon as I get off the live, not as soon as, nigga, I mean, my fault. But not long after I finish this live, I will post my Fold and Lolly links. If you want, yeah, you can fuck with it. You just click a fucking button, take the free pennies, and do it from now until my son is 18. That's 15 years. And we if everybody in the black community who fuck with me did that, we would have a lot of change. And the road to a million is a sum of ones. All right? So if everybody got a little bit, that little bit can combine into some real shit. And that's also like me, I'm chasing 10 million because, nigga, I'm like, I could do it. But the real power is when everybody got a little bit of something which is why I show up and show out every day to make sure I provide this information. What people do with the information, I can't control it. But I know I show up every day to make sure I provide a safe space for us to have these conversations. I know a lot of people who are are scared of crypto because it's different or it's not SEC. It's not um, regulated by the SEC. Yo, bro, I've been getting money in there, man. Fuck it. So I'm just trying to provide a safe space. My Discord is not up yet. I be bullshitting when I say I'm going to start my Discord. Nigga, I be busy. But eventually I will. And so right now we got Facebook, we got YouTube, and that's where I'm like, nigga, fuck it. I'm going to pull up. Whoever want to talk, we can talk. You want to talk money? You want to talk math? You want to talk graphs? Let's go. As a matter of fact, I'm feeling myself right now. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. For anybody watching, the first person, what's today's date? 23rd? Yo, first person that calls me out and, and and can quote me on it will get a free math tutoring session. Probably on Zoom, though, because y'all, y'all people got the macaroni. But, yeah, boom, what up? All right, now, we all know. Ain't nobody ever take advantage of my free office, but they out there on the table, nigga. That's how I'm feeling good. Holiday season. Now, I ain't got no money to spend on motherfuckers, but I got a lot of knowledge to share, and we going to share it. All right? So that's another gift I'm giving. I gave another gift away last week that nobody took advantage of yet, but it's still two more days. We'll see. Who slide in and take advantage of that? But we tutoring. One free session. Math, of course, because that's the only subject I fucking... Nah, that's not true. I know all of them shits, nigga. That's why I got straight A's. But math is the only one that's easy for me. I've never tried in it. So, nigga, I'll tutor that shit and probably be like 
twiddling my thumbs or whatever the fuck it's called while I'm doing this. It, that easy for me. Y'all know my son's named after mathematics, and I could teach you trigonometry with my left hand. Like, nigga, we out here. And yes, that is my left hand. It's just the video is. Anyways, e rewards. My fucking survey app that when I'm doing nothing, I'm doing a survey and I'm making a little 25 cents, a little dollar here. Why? Because I understand the value of those pennies. They add up. And I showed y'all yesterday. I don't want to waste too much of your time with that. But I showed y'all because of them surveys, I was able to buy two boxes of Q-tips, some motherfucking shaving shit. And the bill was $25.99. I only paid 99 cents. Nigga, y'all niggas need to learn something from me. So again, my link will be somewhere in the comments. Keeping it pushing. Check the email in the DM. Y'all know what's up. And in that email, there's an opportunity to make some money, nigga. I took that shit. Now, next, this is what y'all are waiting for. Motherfucking, um, the future of investing. Y'all, I told y'all I got the robots that tell me what to buy. So let me share with y'all what we did today. All right. Hold on. I got to get my screenshots. Niggas know I got receipts. So that's the proof right there. But I'll read it to you. M-A-R-A. If you got in at $32.16, we sold it today at $34.13. Niggas made a profit. If you got in N-A-I-L, so nail, which was the inverse, um, what is it called? Inverse, shoot. Damn, what's the word? Um leveraged this one was leveraged you could have even multiplied your money i don't work on leverage no more since i be blowing up my forex accounts when i do that but but it's cool i don't put too much money in forex but um nail if you got in with me at 97 dollars and 73 cents nigga cash that out at 112 dollars and four cents Holla at your boy we fuck with the future of investing all the way from motherfucking um all the way from motherfucking Boston, because Future of Investments in Europe. Man, I fuck with the international love. Ah, shit. And I'm just here to bring it to the hood. Like, nigga, look at what I got, and it's lit. And I'm making money off of it, nigga. So if you've been watching me every day, I've been telling y'all, yo, get in at this price, and then what up? Now I'm telling you, get out. And you have until 4 o'clock to do it if you was already in. Me, I been out. Been took my little change, nigga. Y'all know what's up. And notice, there's no buys today. You know why? Nothing on the graph was worth taking a risk on. So always remember, some of the best trades you make is the make is the trades you don't make. I think I was supposed to say some of the best trades are the trades you don't make, but you get my point. So the stock market is looking healthy. And, oh, another thing is I'm coming for doubles. So from my lowest point in the stock market around this time last year, with all the stuff that happened this year, I essentially doubled. Next year, I'm going to double again. That minimum. I'm coming to double every year. Now, if I double every year, man, it's only like in five years, nigga. Shit, we'll talk about five years, five years from now. But I'll just, I'm just letting y'all know the plan. My man say you want the same waffle. Excuse me. Want the same waffle that I got? The one with the bone on it? Okay, watch this. Yes and no. I want you to buy one for me. I want you to hold it for me. But I don't want to get it until I'm successful enough to fly out to the city of champions. And when we kicking it, you over there cooking some crazy shit. Me over there, you know, bartending some crazy shit. When we kick it, that's when I want you to be like, yeah, here you go, bro. And it would mean so much to me, you know what I'm saying, knowing that I said I was going to meet you out there, and then I'm going to actually make that happen, all right? So if you do buy it, hold it for me. And who knows when I'll make it? Like, it doesn't mean, like, next month or, or whatever. It doesn't matter. You don't have to put no Christmas wrap on it. Like, I'm a simple nigga. Just hold it. And remember, I don't want it until I fucking do what I say I'm going to do, which is pull up on you. You already know what it is. So that's our um, daily investments for those of you who like to get money with me. Yo, from $97 to $112, that sounds like over 10% if you ask me, because from 100 to 110 is 10%. 97 is less, and 112 is more. Nigga, more than 10%, nigga. Having fun, though. Next. Oh, yesterday, I, t- I showed, no, two episodes ago, 
I opened the card and what's a good drink mix? My, my man said, I'll hold it down. What's a good drink mix? What you trying to mix? Vodka? Tell, tell me the um alcohol. And I, I, I'll i give you an idea just off the top of my head. I'll be eating it. Well, actually, I could cheat. I got them shits in my phone too. But while, while I wait for that response, let's multitask, right? Two days ago, I showed y'all that I opened up a, a holiday card and there was some money in that shit. Now, what I do with cash, if you give me a cash for no reason or a cash tip or whatever, I put 60%. Is it 60? Shit, fuck it. For the sake of discussion, I put 60% in Coinbase, which is my son's account. And then I put 40% in Litecoin. So for my son's account, I wanted to share with y'all what I invested in. On Coinbase. And by the way, Coinbase got the crazy fees, nigga. Like, that's why I buy it for him, set it and forget it, because them fees is crazy. But um, Coinbase, I invested in AXS. I put $100 in AXS. And I put $100 in Mana, Decentraland. No, I lied. I didn't even put $100. I already had some money in there. I made whatever I had equal $100 of Mana. So I could um, be honest. AXS. S and M A N A. Those are the two on Coinbase that I invested in for my son long term. Like when I when I buy it on Coinbase, set it and forget it. That was cash I wasn't supposed to fucking have. If it's successful, cool. If it fails, it was cash I wasn't supposed to have. You dig? And the government's cool because Coinbase is connected to my social security, so they're good. So everybody's feeling good. All right. Again, I'm whatever I say is not a suggestion to buy, hold or sell a stock or a crypto, I'm just putting y'all onto plays that I'm actually in, all right? So my three-year-old son, who's about to enjoy Christmas, is sitting on $100 of AXS and $100 of mana. Why? Because those are the ones that GameStop said they was going to accept as payment. To me, there's value there. Why would GameStop accept something if there's no value? That's just me, though. So... AXS and Mana are on Coinbase. I got $100 each of them. Now, there's two that I could not get on Coinbase, which are SLP and Sand. I could not get those on, on Coinbase. So I actually still got the money, like probably over $200. And you know what I'm saying? So if they ever show up on there, I'll get it. There's like a Coinbase Pro, but I'm like, nigga, ain't that serious, nigga, like. I ain't doing it that serious for my son. Like, yeah, I love my son, but damn, I got to grow my own shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when I buy it for my son, it's just more like a, you gave me tip money, whatever, whatever. Boom. The crypto I got for my son is related to the metaverse. I see, remember, I called it out a year ago where I was telling y'all that when um video games made it to the Olympics, that it's a big deal. I'm trying to tell y'all something. You know what I'm saying? So... Once I seen that, knowing I've been a gamer for many years, and don't challenge me a street fighter if you ain't got one of these, nigga. I'll fuck you up. And if you really keep talking shit, I go, I go to the wall in which I got walls worth of fight sticks. I'm a gamer. I know what the fuck I be talking about. So you combine my my ability to do math with my love for video games, and I'm telling you that the metaverse is the future. You don't believe me? Look at how Facebook changed their name. Let's keep pushing them. Um, so the four that I recommend are, well, actually, there's more, but it's AXS, M-A-N-A, S-L-P, S-A-N-D. Of course, you have to balance the, that boat with Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then also GameStop is accepting Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. All right. So for those of you trying to get just, oh, I just want to be metaversed out. Think of what GameStop is accepting and go from there. All right. But I got a lot of things on the list, so I got to keep it pushing. Next. First off, you know what's crazy is when you speak something into existence, right? So yesterday I told y'all on my show. Well, I believe I said on my show. That way, if I didn't say it, then it happened in my head. All right. But I believe I said, I was like, yo, when I step out, I feel like I'm going to run into some people that I know because niggas know me. So I step out yesterday, run into some of my former students. They made me happy, yo. Like, and I posted on Instagram today, so go feel free to check that out. But um, I run into them, and I run into them on my way downtown. Remember what I was going to do downtown? 
invest the child tax credit that the government has been sending me for my son. I said I was going to invest it in some gold. So this is what we got. You know what I'm saying? Little 14 carat. It's kind of hard to see because I ain't got no lights here, but little 14 carats for my little for my little man's. You know what I'm saying? Now, the reason why I'm showing this to y'all is one, if you're getting money from the government, why would you waste it? If it's money you didn't think you was gonna get, pull a super cab, invest the shit, and then later on the line, pass this down. When my son gets older, this better be worth more than the 500 I spent on it. All right. Not nine and a half grams, by the way, or whatever the fuck they nine and a half ounces, whichever one they weigh. It's not that heavy. 14 carat and shit. But um, remember, I was supposed to spend 600. Oh, I got to show you all this. Right. So I know. Actually, let me back up the story. So I go to the jewelry store downtown. Mind you. I've been in the jewelry store. You're looking at um scholarship money. Remember, I've been in the jewelry store with scholarship money and shit. And so I go to the jeweler. I go to the um first one. I'm like, yo, I need you to fix some shit for me. They're like, oh, if I fix it, I, I, you're going to come back tomorrow. I'm like, nigga, I ain't coming back. So I go to every jeweler to see who can fix my bracelets. Because if you've been watching my show, again, I'm a real attention to detail motherfucker, right? My first season, I wore one bracelet. And then season two, I had two. Season three, I had three. But I had broke them. Because I really be wearing these like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. I be in the gym with them shits. Nigga, dropping boxes on them and shit. So two of them had broke. So, you know. Anyways, I guess this would be the first official episode of season four. Because I got four bracelets on me. But I go there with two of them. Like, yo, who could fix this shit right now? Because I know, nigga, all you need is a little fucking, what is that shit called? Little little wrench or whatever the fuck that tool is called. The one with the whatever. So look like a tweezer, whatever. I don't know, nigga. I'm getting distracted. So I'm going to all of them until they can fix it on the spot. Cause I know this shit takes one minute each. So I go up to one dude, he fix it before I even buy the gold. He was just like, Yeah, I can fix it. So he's already fixing it. I'm like, nigga, how much that shit cost? So he already fixed it, right? So then I'm like, yo, you look familiar, yo. Then he looked at my ring and was like, yo, did I sell you that? I was like, yeah. He was like, I don't sell silver no more. I only sell gold. I just wanted to um take some time to show him love and congratulate him for moving up, even though silver is still valuable and shit. You know what I'm saying? But when I used to go see him, that was what, 2006, 2007. That's when I was like buying jewelry and shit. So that's like, what, 15 years ago, 20 years ago? I don't know, nigga, what year we're in. That's a long time. By the time you see this video, it'll be 20 years ago and shit. The motherfucker went from selling silver to now selling gold, man. I'm proud of him, and I just want to... My bad, y'all. I got a phone call from my other phone that came to this phone. That's kind of corny. And you want to hear something about, about my other phone? I don't even know the phone number. <laughs> I don't even know the number, and when niggas call it, I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm not answering that shit, nigga. I don't even know this number. But, um, anyways, uh, oh, 14 years, my man's had to correct my math. Oh, wait, I told you I majored in math. I'm supposed to be able to do that. 21 minus 7 is 14. But, uh, yeah, it's been like almost 15 years. 15 just sounds cool, right? 15 years, and my man went from selling silver to now only gold. Man, I'm proud of that, man. Shout out to my Asians. I was going to take a selfie with him, but I still had to win, too. I, I was just like, man, how much is that gold? The dude told me, for, I, you know, I, I brought the price down to 475 or whatever I did. You know me, I'm a negotiator, nigga. So I'm like, 475 um, I'll pay that. Then I'm like, yeah, but I got credit card and shit. Because remember, I already, I have um, moved the money into an account that's connected to my credit card and whatever, whatever. So... He's like, well, if it's credit, I got to charge you extra because I got to pay a fee too. I'm like, whatever, bro. I do business, bro. I don't mind paying that fee, but then I want these bracelets fixed for free. What? And then we got a deal. Plus, he had already fixed them, but they're already on my wrist. I can just walk out. So he's like, man, this motherfucking black nigga, he's the, I like the way he negotiate. Plus, that's my ring from 20 years ago. So I left there with the major discount. You already know what it is. However... 
I was supposed to spend how much money? I got two three hundred dollar child tax credits. If you do the math, that's six hundred. I spent five or well, invested five hundred. Still got my bracelets fixed. That means I owe my son one hundred dollars worth of gold. All right. Now I'm gonna tell you straight up. He's how old is this motherfucker? He's three, so he was supposed to get 100 plus 200 plus 300. That's supposed to be 600. He already got a $300 piece of gold, and this one equals 500. So that's 800. So we already into what his third birthday, his fourth birthday. We're we're into his fourth birthday. I'm not buying that shit for a long time. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I need to wait now. Hmm. All right, but just know. I'm going to put that on the undone um, checklist, and I only um, want to get him $100 worth, but actually, let's just jump straight to it. One plus two, that's 1000 Oh, now nah, I'm already, see, now nah, I got to do this math right. Um, That that free math seems questionable now. Ha, my man roasted me. Hold on, what if I go get my diploma? All right, just because he said that, I'm going to actually act like I know math. First off, I roll with a calculator at all times, nigga. Just know, when was the last time you saw this shit? So that's how you know I'm a real nigga. That shit's right there on demand. But uh, let's do it right. 100 plus 200 plus 300 plus 400 is 1,000. So by his fourth birthday, he needs $1,000 worth of gold. He already has 300 plus 500. That's 800. So I owe him 200. 100 straight off the child tax credit. That means I owe him $100 of my own. So you know what we going to do? I know my man. Come on, bro. You know it's all love. But whether it's love or not, if you challenge me, I got to show you why I'm the best. That's just that competitive nature in me. So now I got to make sure my math is on point the rest of this episode. I'll go back to being a regular nigga tomorrow. But between $100 that the government already gave me and $100 that I'm going to find in the 2022 we going to get him his gold later. How's that? But why do I share this with y'all? So that y'all can think in a similar fashion for your babies. Like, if you look at yourself and say, damn, I'm, you know, my financial situation is screwed, whatever. I don't believe that. But let's say that's how you feel. Look at your kids and start with them. Give them a chance. Like, the 100 plus 200 plus 300 plus 400, your bro's going to add up to some crazy shit by the time my son is 18. And I do know about arithmetic, uh, excuse me, um, uh, yeah, it is, the arithmetic series, all right? So if you really think about that, by the time my son's 18, what's 19 times 9? Because it got to be the 1 plus 18, um, which is 19, and then 18 divided by 2 is 9. So 19 times 9 is 171, now times that by 100. We're talking about my son sitting on $17,000 worth of gold by the time he's 18. That didn't sound right. Let's do it right. 18, 18. I'm, I'm giving y'all the whole formula too since this motherfucker challenged my math. 18 divided by 2, parentheses, 100 plus 1,800. Maybe I was supposed to put the 100. I did the math wrong, but this is the right math, the right equation. Yeah, it was right. Hundred, $17,000 worth of gold. Yeah, $17,000 because we was talking honey. Yep, $1,700. Actually, $1,710 since I got to get technical. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, for my, nah, $17,000. $17,000. That's why I was confused. I was like, 1700 I read it wrong. Yo, it, just in gold, and now multiply that by five because I'm doing this for gold, cash, stocks, bonds, and crypto. All right? Just trying to teach the black community how to help our babies out so we don't repeat the same mistakes that happened to us. We're supposed to be born into money. If we're not, create it for our kids. All right? Um... So anyways, yeah, I owe my son $100. Bill tracking note, I believe my next bill is due on the 28th. But honestly, I don't remember, so I'm going to just check right now. Next bill due on the 27th, which is an automatic withdrawal. 
but the next bill I need to pay is the 28th. There you go. I I just had to check that nigga. Like, I make sure I be talking that factual shit. Next up, did I chase bread overnight? You know, nigga, I say this every day. You know I did. Um, did I document the hours and allocate the funds? Already did that. Save 10% straight to the same account in which the credit card that was used for that. Boom. Um, and then I put 25% in Bitcoin all the way up until. December 31st, and you see why I did it early, because like I said today, Bitcoin started to rip. Y'all can fucking pay attention to me if you want. I'm not a certified public accountant, just a nigga trying to build some generational wealth and hit $10 million. I read from this so-called smartphone. (laughs) That phone is nice if you do the math right. (laughs) All right, where we at? Um, Did I pop my my vitamin and drink my water. Yes, I did. Did I eat some breakfast? Yo, shout out to the um gentleman that when he see me, like there's this one spot where I go um drop some shit off. Um, I got you one second. This is where I drop some shit off, and then motherfucker, if he see me, he hook me up with something to eat because it be the middle of the night, and you know, people who work overnight respect people who work overnight allegedly, um supposedly hypothetically, nobody's trying to get sued, <laughs> shout out Keenan Grace, man, I love your show, um, but, uh, he hooked me up with some, with these two, like, Tupperwares full of Cape Cod chips, I had to really, like, do the crunch to remember, the Cape Cod ones are the ones that are, like, they got more texture to them and shit, so, he gives me two of those, mind you, I still got my leftover chips from yesterday, and I still got the Hershey's from yesterday, so, when he did that, First off, thank you. I really appreciate it. But that saved me $5, so I did not go to the store today. So when it says Canton Snack, I didn't go. So I still got my today's budget, which, again, you never know how helping somebody out really helps them out. Because now that $5 got pushed over to, to tonight. So now I, got, I can afford to buy something. You know what I'm saying? Um, And then my man say, what's a good vodka drink? I could have sworn I answered that. I didn't mention it. Oh, no, I texted it to you. Yo, today, Dirty Shirley's. What up? Yo, you you need Sprite? You need some grenadine? You need me to show you what that is? That's that red cherry shit. And then some vodka, nigga. Dirty Shirley's, nigga. But you do, with the vodka, it goes one, two, three. Then you pour the Sprite to, like, it's about one inch left off the cup based on how drunk you're trying to get or whatever, and then you just drop a splash of the um, grenadine. Don't put too much grenadine. The, it got to be a pretty color. You know what I'm saying? And then if the pretty color is not sweet enough, then, of course, you can add to your liking. But we doing Dirty Shirley. I would I would sip on that today, but I'm, I'm doing the vodka with the watermelon soda. It's like, watermelon soda go hard. I think watermelon is nasty. But watermelon candy and juice and soda, that shit is amazing. I don't fucking understand it. So yeah, that's what we sipping on though. Um, get upside. Now I did not go to the gas station today. Um, I could have, but I was just trying to slide out. There was like, honestly, this is one of my more regular days. Like it was, it feels like a regular day, but I was so tired. That's why I'm here so late. And honestly, I probably would have showed up later, but I wanted to beat the stock market because the stock market is closed tomorrow. So I wanted to show up for anybody who actually gives a fuck about that shit. But uh, anyways, GetUpside is a cash back reward program if you use a debit card or a credit card at the gas station or at sp- at certain restaurants. And there's a promotion right now. I should have mentioned this for Wisdom Wednesday, but fuck it. Here you go. They're giving like extra money for people who are going to certain restaurants. Me, I don't really eat out. So I just do the gas side, but whatever. Something for you guys to look into. But just know, anything connected to a debit or credit card is connected to somebody's social security number, which means when tax season comes, somebody's being held accountable. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Me, I don't got nothing to hide. I've been doing my tax since I was like 17, 18. Nigga, we out here. Love plain watermelon, especially the yellow ones. What? I don't like that. But everybody's different, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I'm not saying it to discourage anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because I like what I like. You like what you like. But I just don't like watermelon. But um, watermelon flavored stuff. God damn, why is it so good? Mm. 
Yo, now I'm thinking about Wonder B. Hey, yo, Wonder B, when you watch this episode, One Day in Life, why the fuck am I still drinking out of this plastic cup? Mm, that, yup. When, when she see this, I swear to God, she's going to smile, just like I did. Um, Update the gas prices on ways. I didn't go to the gas station, so there was no way for me to do that. It is refreshing. I don't know. Oh, my man said um, watermelons is refreshing. You know what? Next time I'm out, in, I'm going to give it another chance next time because I like at this, this summer program I used to work at. Don't tell nobody, but I used to, um, I learned, I forgot who taught me, man. I really wish I could remember who taught me. It was either Nick or Chris, but they taught me when making a burger to only flip it once. So then I, I became a legendary burger flipper for my summer program and stuff. And I would always make the burgers, but then when it was time for the watermelon, I was just like missing out. Next time I make burgers for people, I'm going to try the watermelon. How's that? I, I'm going I'm to um, fix. I'm going to fix and see what's up. I make watermelon slushy drinks. Ooh. Shoot, I might need to blend this right here. Mm-hmm. Now, next, holiday-inspired selfies. Let me show y'all what kind of selfies I've been taking lately. So, again, we're going to post these in a couple of days. But that's just the Kev random spot. You can see it's dark as shit, but someone got some lights. Somebody's lights. I just be taking selfies. If you got nice lights, I just pull over and take a selfie in front of your goddamn lights, nigga. You know what I'm saying? All of these are lights. I think that's the last one. Oh, no, another one. Another one. That was like a church. Man, I'm just out here living life, man. Shout out to... Oh, and that's the chips. You can see it, bro. They gave me the pic. I took a selfie with the chips. Like, yo, you gonna give me some free shit? I appreciate that. But um, back to the to-do list. You know, the hottest to-do list show. Um, Bottle of water number four. Did I drink my fourth bottle today? I might have slow. I might have stopped at three. I think I stopped at three because I ain't do nothing active. Like, I wasn't really, like, thirsty, thirsty like that. So I probably drink fourth one before I go to sleep today. But I don't think I'm going to drink that much. Actually, lunch, I already ate that shit. Like, I came back tired of shit. I ate the chips while I was out. I came home, made, immediately ate. And then I've been full ever since, nigga. No bullshit. Oh, so that means I did drink bottle number four because I drink when I eat. So bottle number five is the one I didn't do yet. My bad. I brushed my teeth first thing in the morning. But then I had just woken up not too long ago. Yeah, after this cup, it's time to brush my teeth again. Especially drinking soda and shit. Shit destroy your teeth. Nigga, give you cavities. Nigga, you can brush that shit. Um, download the updates via Wi-Fi. The reason why I mention that every day is I don't want y'all downloading uh, updates while you're out. And then it's using up your um, high-speed data if you might need that later. That's all. Just trying to help the hood save money. Document receipts. You know what? Y'all are going to wait for me to document this one receipt. Mm-hmm. Gmail. And then we're going to go to Google Drive. Remember, remember, um, I lost a lot of fans when I would just show up live and, and document my receipts. And the point of me doing that was just to provide an opportunity for people to talk to me. But instead, they just watched it. So that was that was an epic fail. But um, this one, I can document this one receipt because it won't take me that long. So I went to my Google Drive. I already have a document called... Um, financial portfolio 2021 so we gonna go to that google doc now i got different tabs which represent the different types of things i buy so the first one is always food because that's i do that one the most right i buy like food like once a day or every other day or whatever but um i want to go to precious metals see if i got precious metals page uh well i lied it's called jewelry so 2021 jewelry so far, I've spent $200 on jewelry this year. I bought a Bone Thugs and Harmony gold pendant, a Mo Thugs um, gold pendant, and I got uh, another Bone Thugs and Harmony pendant with the chain. All right? But this one was yesterday, was what state? 12, 22, 2021. The location was. Watch World, Where's, where I got this watch like 15, 14 years ago. I'm going to go find my old um, 
Facebook pictures, and I'm going to tell you exactly when I bought it, too. So this is on Washington, 365 Washington Street. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm writing where I bought it from. That's Boston, Massachusetts, 02108. I don't even know that shit. Um, what I get? I got 9.5. I think that's ounces. Is it ounces or troy ounces? That's out. That's ounces. 9.5 ounces of 14 karat gold. And I ain't even gonna mention the fact that I made them niggas fix my shit. Fuck it. 500, nigga. Now, I paid credit. But I don't remember the last four digits, though. No bullshit. Um... I think it's this. Fuck it. I'm just gonna put that, nigga. That's what it is. Date delivered. Fuck it. I just write um 12-22-2021. There's no tracking number, so NA. There you go. Bingo. We just documented that receipt. That's all I'm gonna suffer y'all through. But now we got it written down. All right. As a matter of fact, this is different because this is for my son. I'm gonna keep this receipt with his, um, with his shit, I'm gonna put the receipt at the bottom, like, look, look what I'm gonna do for this nigga, he don't even know, the receipt, then the shit, by the time I give it to him, we'll see how much it's worth, I expect the price of gold to go up in the next 15 years, all right, so shout out to my son for his second piece of gold, now, the reason why it's his second and not his third is because when he was one, I didn't have no money, I think, like, you know, I was just learning about the financial literacy. I didn't have it. But his second birthday, I got him one plus two, which made 300. And then, shit, we we skipped. Well, actually, let me tell you this. In his Webull account, I had made so much money from the Shiba Inu that I had invested in Bitcoin to represent gold. So he actually has $300 worth of gold. So if I'm really getting technical, this motherfucker's on birthday like... Five or six. All right. Shout out to Baby Super. All right, next. Record the live. We're doing that. Download the live. We're going to do that. Upload the live. We're going to do that after. Shout out to my YouTube community. Smoke break. There's an X there because I ain't got no smoke and my man's got a job. So niggas will smoke when niggas will smoke. Um, Bottle of water number six. That's an X. I'm not drinking six bottles today. I ain't even going out like that. Net, um, Throwback Thursday IG post. I told y'all I post every day on IG. With a goal of reaching 5,000 followers. When I get to 5,000, I'm dropping a music video. Actually, I lied. I got to shoot the video. And then I'll drop it after. And then at 10,000 followers, I'm going to re-record the verses to my album, which is done, essentially. And then I'm going to drop an album, 10,000 followers. Let me give you the update. Again, I started the show by talking about quantifiable goals, right? Yo, right now, my followers, I got 38, 39. So 3,839 followers, all right? And then when I get to five bands, you already know what time it is. And and then select and write the next post. Uh, I didn't write it yet because I write them actually pretty fast because I just copy and paste old shit. Y'all know I got like multiple hashtags and shit. So I already have a folder. Let me show you the folder so y'all know I don't be bullshitting. Um, social media, IG schedule, throwback Thursday. Like, I got pictures right there, bang, that I'm, I could post on a Thursday. And my throwback Thursday at this point <laughs> has been dedicated to teaching. If I got a picture of me teaching or with my students, I post on Thursday because I don't see myself going back into the classroom anytime soon. You know, never. I'm never going to say never. But as of right now, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Uh, Thursday weekly stock investments. As a matter of fact, let me see if I got some, my Thursday investments. Let me see if there's anything new. If not, we'll move on. Damn, I don't even know my password, bro.
Hey, no bullshit, it worked. Nah, this looks just like what it did last week, nigga. Nah, I ain't got nothing for you yet, nigga. You know what? We gonna just... We gonna just take it easy on the Thursday investments. Those look the same as... as those look the same as last week, so I don't know if that's different. Eh? So we gonna chill on that, nigga. Um, so I'm put an X there. Niggas didn't do it yet. And then investments, IG post. And then after I invest on Thursdays, I I post that shit on Instagram. And let me show you last week's, which looked the same as this week. That's why I didn't do nothing. When you see me post this shit, yo. No, nah, not that. My fault. I wasn't supposed to swipe to the up. I was supposed to swipe that way. Yo, I really be investing in these shits for my son's mother. She don't even know, nigga. She don't watch my shows. So she don't know nothing, nigga. Don't worry about it. Um, But, yeah, nigga, like, I run a whole account for her, too, nigga. Shit, I, I believe as a man, that's what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I ain't with her. I don't get to see her. But my job is to really, like... You know what I'm saying? Create some fucking wealth for her as well. Because she gave me the ultimate gift, which is my son. So shout out to her. So every Thursday when I post this, I'm not posting this asking y'all for no money or nothing. I'm just posting it to let y'all know. If you want to do what I'm doing, look at what I do. And it's December, so I just put $12 a stock. That's it, nigga. $12, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. And the next month, straight up, we're going to, instead of doing 50 right? We're gonna do sixty two dollars and fifty cents, sixty two fifty, and then starting in January we're gonna put one dollar in per stock. Then we're gonna do two dollars in February. And I'm really trying to show y'all that even though I run a big ass account, that I'm trying to get to ten million with. I we can still invest in the streets, nigga. I do this on Cash App too, so no excuses for niggas. Oh my god, but like I said, anything I I say is not a suggestion to buy, hold, or sell a stock, nigga. I'm just here for entertainment purposes only. You already know what it is. Next up, dinner. Yo, that lunch I ate today, I think it's going to knock me out. Add the alcohol, and I'm not that hungry right now. But um, I got to eat something because, you know, I be working out and shit. So I got to eat, like, some high protein and shit. Speaking about working out, yo, shout out to my cousin. Last year for Christmas, she gave me um some gloves. She was like, oh, I seen you be posting workout videos on on um, Instagram, so I got you some workout gloves, and I did not wear them, because real workout warriors, we don't wear no gloves, nigga, like, actually, there's a reason for it, the reason why we don't wear gloves, or put cushions on our fucking barbells when we squat, is because you want to, um, feel it more, which will activate more muscles, so there's a reason why we do that, we'll take our sneakers off in the gym and shit, but yo, my hands are starting to hurt from them pull-ups, yo, like, when I do regular pull-ups, it's easy. But I've been doing, like, jumping into the pull-ups. And then that whole jumping, landing on it, hands do that. Yo, the calluses on my hands getting crazy. I might have to bring the gloves out. I don't know. I'm debating. So shout out my cousin for them from the gloves last year. I love you. I might have to bring them out, nigga. And we got a couple more things to end the list. Yo, am I going to drink a bottle of water number seven? No, not today. It's too much. Um. Ration of breakfast, check mark, because I'm still sitting on the second Tupperware of chips from this morning. I got my chips that I bought yesterday, so those are, that's another, that's two days worth of breakfast. My mom got me some chips, that's like two weeks worth of breakfast, so shit, I'm cooling right now. I be, and like I said, I try to eat the bullshit in the morning so that I can work it out between walking everywhere or, or working out in the gym. And then I try to eat, you know, regular food, cultural food in the evening. Um, and then who knows? Maybe I'll just eat some pizza today. Fuck it. I don't know. It depends how I feel, if I'm hungry. And if I'm not hungry, I'm not eating because I've been fat, so I don't need to do that. I try to turn turn the cheek with my BM just to get slapped harder the second cheek. I'm done. I mean, everybody's circumstance is different. Um... You know, I try to keep it positive. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And the best thing that we can do is is provide balance, right? Like, the same way we was feeling when we was loving up on them is should be balanced out with how we feel now. So, 
I would never like truly disrespect my BM. I'd be hurt sometimes. I'd be emotional. I'd be missing her or whatever. But I'm like, when my mind is right, nigga, she ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like she held my son in her belly, nigga. Like she, she's lit for that. However, I'll tell you this straight up. I believe if I give her money, she would spend it. And I, I hope that's not disrespectful because I mean no disrespect or harm when I say that. I believe if I send her money, she would spend it. Now, her logic behind it makes sense. She got my son. That nigga's three years old. He might need some shit. Makes sense. But what I'm saying is, if I send her money and she spend it, then we're right back to the same place. I can't do that. I can't continue to do that. So I invest the money for her. You get what I'm saying? That way it could grow into some crazy amount. Then I could hook her up. And then we still got more. I'm trying to create some shit. So what you could do, is it, or anyone out there who got baby mama drama, is if you, you know, can afford it or whatever, build the empire, build your empire, and then, damn, I just read that. Hold on. Let me address that in a second. Build your empire, because this actually goes with that, and continue to provide good. And as long as you do that, you'll be able to sleep well at night. So word on the street is allegedly she turned the kids against me. Okay, let's say let's say allegedly that happened. You know what can have the kids in a in a confused state? The truth, because there's a point where all children get to see both sides, where they're just like, you know what? You start questioning your own parents. I've been on that level. Like I've been when I realized both my parents was just I'm like, yeah, they both could have been better. You know what I'm saying? Um all children get to that point. So what's the best thing I believe you could do is to provide greatness. Like I don't get to see my son these days and I only get to talk to him whenever they answer the phone, right? So I show up live every day. Later on my son is going to grow up. Dad, why weren't you around? I did what I could. Then he's going to watch these lives, rewatch these lives and realize that I've been doing the best that I can with the circumstances and cards that I was dealt. I believe everybody could do that, whether it's financial or creating a utopia or like for me, I'm trying to build like you see these toys. Who do these toys belong to? When I'm dead, they're going to go to my son, right? So we got. The capital gains I'm trying to pass down with the toys and the jewelry. We got the accounts that I'm trying to pass down. So these kids will eventually see like, yo, my dad tried. He wasn't that bad. They have to because they think for themselves. Everybody's an independent thinker, right? And and one thing I definitely do not want is to talk bad about my son's mom. It, my Like my son has a mother who loves him. And a father who loves him. That's all that matters. And if mom and dad can't get along, it is what it is. But when that nigga's around, shit, you would never think me and her is beefing. Like, even when I talk to her on the phone, like, because my son is there, you would never know that me and her had any issues. At least on my end, I'm trying to do that. I don't know how she feel, nigga. I don't talk to her like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, just put out good energy and let the world realize what's good and what's not. Let them figure it out for themselves. And they will. You got to also give your kids credit. Give them credit for being smart, too. Like, how long can someone lie on you before the truth <laughs> supersedes the bullshit? Like, I don't know what they're talking about me, what anybody is saying about me. The truth of the matter is, is the track record will speak for itself. You have a problem with me? Pull up to my live, talk to me like this. Nobody does it. I mean, obviously my man's just talking to me right now, but like I'm saying people who have a problem with me, they're not on my lives because if they were, they would realize I'm not the problem. And then eventually in life, people realize, I think people realize 
I'm not that bad. That's probably why everybody who leaves me comes back. Because I was not really the problem. I tried to show them, but, um, I, what do you mean IG? Like Instagram? It didn't work. That's okay. Continue to, sh- to just be great. Like, don't give up because the children need you. Think about it. If you're a good person, nobody can take that away from you. Nobody. Not even your children's mother. Nobody. Not no police, not no job, nothing. Like, my reputation is shot. There's people who really think I'm violent, disrespectful, um, um, you name it. But then look at the people I chill with. Look at the people I get money with. It, it's just a whole nother story. So what up? What up? Let them know what city you representing. But yo, so as long as you do right, the truth will always set you free. Because eventually, oh, my man said, I guess my bad. IG to me means Instagram. Um, but as long as you're doing right, that shit will always outshine the bullshit. Always. My man say talk about Bone Thugs and Harmony. Shit, it's a live show. I got you. Lazy Bone got. Got a new album coming out next year, and I'm trying to buy it. And he needs to stop being whack and put out a digital. I mean, put out a physical copy. Y'all know I got the Tower of Bones. I got every Bones CD physical. I don't got no fucking streaming services like that. Lazy Bone, drop the motherfucker. Pay attention to Busy Bone, nigga. Drop the motherfucker on your birthday with the motherfucking. You know what? Busy Bone be dropping T-shirts and shit. Drop your album with the hoodie. Yep, drop your album with the hoodie, Lazy Bone, I mean, Busy got the t-shirt, and then Crazy Bone gave us the hat, nigga, I need a Lazy Bone hoodie, shit, drop that shit, stop playing games, and drop that shit with the HC, the Chemist album, because I didn't hear it yet either, I don't got no streaming services, but I'm waiting to fucking purchase that physical shit, you know what I'm saying, my man say you want to hear the new Busy, you know I got all of that shit. Got all of that shit. That means when I pull up on you in Milwaukee, you bumping all of that. <laughs> now, last thing I got on my list was the main topic was blank. I didn't have nothing new to talk about since I be yapping so much. I gave away all of my sauce. So um, I'm going to let y'all decide on my way out if there's something that y'all want to talk about. How about that? Yeah, let's write that. Let the fans decide. Nah, let the super... Porters. What's the word I just said? Let decide. All right. So instead of supporters, y'all are super porters. Bumping all of that. Yo, bro, I got all of the CDs right there. They're just behind my studio. That's why they don't really come out. You know what I'm saying? And then I already ripped them into MP3, so I could just play them on my on my computer. All my computers got all my bone CDs, but. The fact that I bought that shit, $10 plus shipping or whatever the fuck it cost, all of them. Some of them I do, like, back in the mid-2000s, sometimes only one store would have one copy of Bone CD and I had to go get it first. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. I'm going to give y'all a um, minute. Let's see if anything y'all want to talk about on my way out. And then we move on with the to-do list. Y'all know the, the day just got started, essentially. You know what I'm saying? Someone showing cheeks on Instagram. <laughs> Let's see. I'm checking my email. See if there's any money in here while I'm waiting to see that final comment. Nothing. Nope. Auto zone. Nope. Sell these five companies. I right, shit, fuck it. Since, since I'm reading this email, yo, if you hold Health Equity, Invite, Grand Canyon Education, Markle, or Ollie's Bargain Outlet Holdings, get rid of them. I feel like I had Grand Canyon Education. I'm about to look these up, see if I got any of these. I'll slide right the fuck out. That was just an email I got. Like, now you get out of there. Ain't nothing popping no more. 
Yeah, it's booming on my account. All right, word. Um, let's just look them all up. Fuck it. Health equity. I don't own that. Never, never did. Invitae. That sounds familiar. In. Ooh, that nigga drop hard. But I don't own him. Let me go to Cash App, see if I own him on there. Niggas know I got multiple accounts and shit. That name sound familiar, though. Oh, that's because I had it in February, and I been sold that shit. That motherfucker hit my stop loss on May 3rd. I been out of there since May, nigga. But yeah, some people, I guess they were left holding that bag. Not me, nigga. Um, Grand Canyon Education. That sounded like something I invested in when it was time to do um online education with the Zoom and shit. So let me just see, see what's up with that. Nope, I ain't got it. And last, well, no, there was two more. Marco. I don't look familiar. I don't remember seeing that. Yeah, I'm not. I never had that one. And last but not least, Ollie's. Yep. Don't look familiar. Never had it. All right. We good. So I'm going to change the name. Then. Oh, shit. My bad. Insert drawing. I don't want no damn drawing. We're going to change it from let the super porters decide to get out these five stocks. <laughs> and just like that, that's the answer to the, um, that's the, that's the title of the show. All right. One more time. Health equity. Invite. Invite. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce it. Grand Canyon Education. Marco or Ollie's Bargain Outlet Holdings. We out of there. And on that note, it's your boy, Super Kev. As long as I'm A-Live, there will be A-Live. I would like to stay with y'all, but I did promise one of my mans from Detroit I'm going to give him a call. So we're going to make that happen right now. Y'all already know what it is. Thank you for all the support. I will be back tomorrow if I'm not dead. As long as I'm A-Live, there will be A-Live, right? I love y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Peace mode.